Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well, I finally print out the Spectrum color chart, the Spectrum Noir color chart. So what we have here is um, the list of colors denoted by name, by letters, and by the by the package that they come in because these packages come with uh, like, a, like a sort of a name. So let's say if you want to get the skin tones, you are going to get them from the Ink Essential, some of them, not all of them, because um, they all, they're all different, you know, like the grays, like the browns, like the turquoise blues, the true blues, and so on. So I print out, let's see, this is the color chart, okay, this is what I'm showing you, it's a good reference because you can see exactly what colors you will need in the future, or what you will want, it's the same thing that I did with the Copics. And then I print out an empty one, and this one is for you to fill it in so you can have an idea of what colors you have. So it's more simple, I guess a little bit more simple than the Copic. It's the same thing, but the Copics has a range of colors that have more, more amount of colors. So I, I think this is a little bit more not confusing. <laughs> so what you do is basically get your markers and fill it in. And let's say this is, you look it up by the letter. This is BGR3, right? And BGR3. is this section over here okay so it should be this one BGR3 correct I don't know if I'm wrong this is BGR1 BGR2 and BGR3 BGR3 this is the one that we're looking for BGR3 so let me put this like over here because what I want to do is not like this. You got to remember that this pens bleed, and and when it does that, anything you have on the bottom, you know, will catch some of that ink. The all the all the other thing I don't know if I mentioned you in the other video that you have to do with this markers, um, that I, you know, heard other people that was going through is that you need to somehow cover the name everything that is printed on the marker you need to cover it with some sort of like nail polish or something that will not that will cover that it will how do I say this like that it will stop from those letters to wear out so it's sort of like a sealant and also you have to do the same things for the tip of the marker the other thing that I did was I named the barrel of the marker with um, with my organizer express dymo and the reason why I did that is because sometimes when you have a bunch of markers like laying down here if you by any chance take the caps out you don't know which is this marker so it will get confusing so that was some suggestion I got from somebody watching their video I, I'm sorry I can't remember the name but that that's a good thing to do you know just try to mark down your markers so okay so how do you do this very simple and this is a lot more simple than what I did with the distress markers because the distress marker I had to stamp one stamp all over the place with the color you know it's a little bit crazy but you know it gets the work done I don't want to stamp anything here because the squares are too small so the best thing for this is just to color the square with the marker and that's all you need to do now like I said on the Copic the good thing or the best way to do this is to color in the paper you usually use when you are doing 
a drawing or coloring or whatever you're doing because that's the paper that you will be working more and then you, you, you're going to have the reference exactly how the color comes out on the paper. Now this is a regular white paper so I don't know it's just it's just what I had at the moment. So we got that one. Alright guys, so there you go. I fill out my chart. It looks empty. <laughs> it's the same effect that I have with my Copics. Very empty. But, like I said, most of my Spectrum Norse were a gift. I cannot complain. I'm very happy and very pleased with the colors I have as far as this gets. Um, the other thing that I can tell you, if you're new to this video, if you're new to the markers, remember the markers are refillable. They are very similar to what you can do with the Copics. They're not as like super perfect as the Copics. I want to make that clear because people have preferences and people like different things. And uh, I stated before that I'm not disappointed. I'm very happy with the results I get with the Spectrum Noirs. And uh, you can also uh, change the nibs. And remember, it brings a, a fine tip and a broad tip or nib. So, you know, I, I've stated this in many other videos. You, you might want to watch those other videos if you're new around the channel. Uh, cool very cool very cool to play with very cool to color um, I can show you results I have um, that I've done uh, really quick let me see if I did I think I did a new no I didn't do oh I did want to show you I almost forgot that I had a, a little chart that I created in my little sketchbook because that that it it it, it kind of serves me as a reference when I'm drawing in my little sketchbook so for example well none of these guys are well you've seen already all these guys uh, but mainly well let me show you just one okay like this little guy I draw with some of the spectrum NARS and that's you know how it comes out so it's really good as long as you know how to use them because you got to learn how to use them it's not just like oh let me draw you know you got to know how to blend the colors you got to know how to make different you know shades and things like that and you already seen this so anyway see this is an example see with the grays so you got to learn 
I'm not like perfect with them yet, but you know, you got the idea. So guys, if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. Uh, please comment down below, write me a message, something, something if I can do anything better for the markers or anything basically on my channel. And if you like what you see, please rate, comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.